quick announcement, please turn off the flash on your cell phones and your cameras. There's no audio or videotaping tonight. And please welcome back to the Fillmore, Hot Tuna! Jack Cassidy, and I'm, I'm here to talk about my my Jack Cassidy 20 year anniversary model Equiphone bass guitar. I'm so happy that uh, the Jim Roseberg, Roseberg and the gang at Equiphone have decided to keep it online uh, for all these years. The new bass that I'll be playing tonight, that that there'll be some clips of later on, uh, is, uh, is is a special deep dark cherry red color and shows the nice uh, 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 maple, striped maple top. Uh, and uh, I'm taking it right out of the box and, and playing it just like I do every couple of years that I get a new run of the, of the bass. Uh, I take it right out on the road. Contacted uh, Jim Rosenberg, and he gave me a complete full hand to get what I wanted out of the bass. I spent two weeks in Nashville with, with J.T. Ribloff working on and designing the pickups, uh, uh, and I worked very closely with a number of prototypes before we finally got it right. My goal was to have a fairly simple operating instrument, but one that would respond to many different styles of playing. So one reason, uh, I remember Jim said, listen Jack, I'll give you anything you want. I'll give you one pickup, I'll give you two pickups, I'll give you three pickups. I said, you know, I really want one really high quality pickup, uh, uh, low impedance, and, and I want to put it in the sweet spot of the speaking length of the string. That's the spot that where all your harmonics line up properly so you get your deepest, thickest sound. That way, as a recording instrument as well as a performance instrument, then these things come into play. So that people with, with different approaches, whether, whether they, they, they use a finger, they use a pick, or they use a thumb, or slap style, whatever, whatever uh, technique they use, they will find an instrument and it'll be warm and responsive to their particular technique. That was my goal, and so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to report that the, I've seen the instrument show up in many different styles of playing. solid block down the center and then the F holes on each side. Uh, this one has actual space down it with a, with a, a slightly fluted light pine uh, block, but you st you get actual air uh, between the back and the, and the top of the instrument. But enough of a block to, 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 to keep out the uh, uh, keep out the feedback. So that was the idea. The, the other the, the other aspect was to use low impedance pickup. And the, the baritone on it, which is really a impedance, in, impedance selector. With, uh, so it goes 50 ohms, 250, 500. And, and the 50 is the setting that I like to use all the time because it's your widest, broadest spectrum. The 250 kind of squashes it down, puts it forward a little more, and the 500 really jabs it down your face. And, uh, but but uh, uh, people use them for different kinds of things. You know, the idea about that is, uh, is, is, is every musician will come along and find something 
on the instrument that, that appeals to them and they can play around and play around with it for you through their own style and their own approach. So, to go in here, they put all these posters up. If you see, there's, there's various these are some of the really old posters here. You got a Jefferson Airplane uh, poster here with a charlatans and blue cheer. You got Jefferson Airplane, the Great Society. Before Grace came with us, Grace Slick, she was with the Great Society. So that was a really early poster in 65 when Sidney Anderson was our singer with the Jefferson Airplane the year before. And then uh, in late 66 and early 67, that's when Grace came. Signature anniversary, you know, 20 year anniversary bass, and, and I need to go on record as saying that I'm not, I'm not a bass player. I'm a guitar player, and I have two Generation One Jack Cassidy basses, and I'm planning on having the uh, the new one also, just that I have to have it. Uh, in terms of what that instrument does for the way that we play, it gives Jack an incredibly varied palette of tonal colors that I think are unavailable. Uh, with many electric instruments, not just bass and the guitars as well. And uh, Jack is able to do just all sorts of incredible things with it. It's, it's an incredibly versatile instrument, not just as in, in his hands. I've heard other people play them too. It's just a damn fine instrument. I've got two, I'm gonna have three. You should be able to do.